This video is to show how I replace audio in Final Cut Pro 10. The original narration was recorded at levels that were a little too low. The voice hovers around negative 20, negative 30 decibels. So what I do is select the clip, shift F reveals it in the event browser, right click on it, or shift command R to reveal, I'll show you from here, reveal in event browser, then once it's there, reveal in finder or shift command R, then I right click on it, open with audacity, Then, as you can see, it's a single channel stereo, so what we need to do is convert to mono. Select the clip, you're going to normalize it. Then you're going to take a sample of room tone. You're going to go to noise removal, get noise profile, select all. Then apply noise removal again. What it does is that it gets rid of any ambient room tone. Uh, this button here will remove uh, or silence the audio. So before the narrator starts to talk, you clean that. And then after he finishes talking, I clean that as well. Once that's done, I do not trim the audio, by the way. You want the file to remain the same length so that when it replaces in Final Cut, uh, the clip does not move. Then we export or Shift Command E, save it to the desktop, click OK. You're going to close this file, but do not save the changes. On the desktop, remove the last F because the Final Cut recording was AIF. Audacity adds the extra F at the end, so you want to have the file extension the same. Once you're done with that, go back to Final Cut. You're going to copy the name because the names have been changed to suit our needs. You're going to Move to trash or command delete. Then it's going to give you a warning indicating that the clip is being used by media on the timeline. Then you'll notice that as soon as I delete it, it goes red. At this point, what you now do is you're going to re import media, or command I, the file that we just created. Import it, copy it into the event folder. Then it appears at the bottom. Now, the name that we copied, all you have to do is select enter and then paste the old name on it. And now it is, if you double click on that, it is there at the time, which is now 10 16 approximately. Next thing you want to do is click on the clip, then you're going to re link the project file. There is the missing file, it thinks it's missing. And then we're simply going to go and tell it where it is. You could also just click on the original folder and it finds it. There's the file. Relink it. And then it is now back uh, in the timeline. And also you're going to notice that this player happens to have four ten off the sound spot. levels are much better. Let's check out the clip again. And that is how to alter a file that's currently being used in a timeline through Audacity to clean up the background noise as well as normalizing the sound so that the volumes, uh, the native volume is louder. And then re import and uh, replace it inside of the Final Cut timeline. Thanks for watching.